What up everyone, it's the Evil Collector, back at you with another action figure review. Today's review is with the Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified Series, Nemesis Immortal. And I um, just got mine in from the mail from um, Hasbro Post. I believe at this moment, that's where you can only get them for the time being. But um, let's go ahead and check out his box. His box art looks pretty cool. You got all these crazy designs right here. Cobra logo right there. He's number 140 in the set. Here's an image of Nemesis Immortal looking crazy. And on this side, another bigger image of him. Very menacing. On the back, here's an image of him with his wings and Cobra Commander in that clamshell, just like in the G.I. Joe movie from the 80s. Definitely love that movie, one of my favorites. All the accessories he's gonna come with, we're gonna check out. And uh, UPC, if y'all are looking for him, pause it right there. Hopefully it can come in handy besides Hasbro Post having them. And uh, that's it, man. So let's go ahead and get Nemesis out the box and let's see what he's all about. So here we have Nemesis out the box and a uh, really cool looking figure, but I do have my uh, pet peeve is the wings. They're some of the ugliest freaking wings I've seen. I don't know why they gave them bat wings like this. They should have given them those other like arch ones, which made them look more, more <laughs> iconic and classic. But that's just me because I'm a biased fan of the 80s G.I. Joe cartoon movie. But anyways, let's check out his, <laughs> his accessory. Let me put this light on real quick. He comes with an uh, alternate head, which is pretty cool. I'm not too familiar with this head scope, the head, but um, I think it's from a newer story, like early 2000s or, what, or early 2000s or 90s. I'm not too sure, but... um. Comment below, let me know what y'all think, but this is what he came with. Another head with bones on it. Look pretty cool. Then he comes with a, just one more set of hands, which are the fisted hands. He has like little bone, um, bones sticking out of, the, of his knuckles. So to give someone really a, a problem in the face. And then he comes with these two swords, which are okay, I guess, you know? They're like um, umbrella handles and again. I feel like some steaks need to be cooked. And then he comes with his uh, tentacles, which are, this is actually pretty cool detailed, I guess. And they're all bendy wires, so you could bend them. And you can make it look like the thing from John Carpenter's movie. Kind of looks like a face hugger, but a, a crazy looking one. Like a Super Saiyan face hugger or something. Alright, let's check out his wings, which I am not a fan of these things, guys. These are gross. They do have a, a hinge right here. You can move it up and down right there. I mean, the sculpting is crazy awesome. I love it, but I just don't like these kind of style wings for him. He does have a, a hinge right there to move it up and down. It goes all the way down goes up about that much and it does move all, rotate all the way around just it hinders from this little wing pad like a shoulder pad <laughs> you can put a leg I'm telling you man it looks like something from John Carpenter's a thing so these are the wings of his which in my opinion are gross like I said and then of course we have Nemesis right here dope looking figure guys I mean I'm not gonna lie the head scope on it looks crazy very iconic. The paint apps and all that are really like awesome. I'm gonna lie. The sculpting on it is really cool. I'm not really fans of these things. I might just cut them off because I don't care for them. He has two toes with um, nails on them. Someone needs to get them either trimmed down or cut off. Someone needs a major, major uh, pedicure. And then you see this right here as a cool little part. And then, so that's pretty much nips. These claw, these bone um claws, not claws. These bone on nails are pretty crazy. So I like the bone that sticks out of his arms. Very iconic of him. So let's go ahead and check out his articulation. Now he looks down very little. Looks up very little. He does, he's on a ball peg, so this, the neck moves around good as well. So just to let you know, the neck does give you a little range. So he could be like, get get cover on that. <laughs> shoulder movement is real good so this is uh, molded on here 
but be careful when you move it around. You could pick it up and you see the upper bicep swivel. His uh, double jointed elbows, are, you gotta be careful because they're real tight. It's not like they wanna break, so I'm gonna have to put a hair dryer to that. We'll see this side. So they do move. It does move, but I gotta really probably give it a good hair dryer here to make it really loose. His gauntlets do move around just to let you know. So there they go. And then the wrist swivel with the hinge on both sides. Upper torso movements on the ball peg, so that's pretty good. So it could be like hola hola hey, hola ho. And then his thigh, I mean his uh, waist, very limited, but it does move. He does the splits about this much. I don't know why Nemesis is gonna need to do the splits, but he does the splits about that much. Um, he does have upper thigh swivel. He doesn't have movement right there. Double jointed knees, just to let y'all know. No boot cut, of course. And then he has an ankle swivel. And then uh, the pivot, I'm sorry, and the swivel moves up about that much on his feet. So he could do the hee hee if he needs to do it during the fight. And there you go, guys. God, I hate these, these sword pads. Gross, man. Come on. Hasbro, why don't you just make a, a retro classic? Why do you have to do them all classified? <laughs> but uh, so there you go, man. Your nemesis. Uh, immortal he'll always be nemesis enforcer to me just to let you know but uh yeah so <laughs> um that's a cool looking figure of course um i hate these wings i wish they made it like little slots two slots instead so i could put the venom wings on here from the no venom two pack i think that was going to look a lot better which i'm going to work on that and see if i can put that out there that'll be pretty cool but i will just stick this on here raise these up and looks a little uh, depressed right now. Nah. There you go. Your nemesis immortal. Looking very nemesis. <laughs> Alright, let's do size comparisons real quick, guys. So here's a uh, the Pentor and uh Sergeant Slaughter next to him. So I mean I don't even remember Serpentor being as tall as Nemesis in the movie. I mean, comment below, let, remind me, please. If not, I'm not, I have to go and rewatch the, the damn movie, you know? Because, I mean, apparently, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here. I mean, I am pretty old now. And then this guy, I mean, he ended up bodying this dude, which I completely think in real life that would have never happened. I think this dude would probably rip Sergeant Slaughter apart. But in the 80s, the heroes always had to win no matter what because that's just the way it was back then. So, okay, so we got those two out of the way. Let's see who else we have to compare them to. Um, regular size GI Joe that are not over overpowered with steroids. We got uh, Duke and Cobra Commander. And this Cobra Commander is like one of my all-time favorite figures in all my collection. But here we go. So we get a, a good comparison on how they look. I don't know if, it, if I turn it off, it'll look better. No, I, sh I should just leave it on. Okay, there you go. But yeah, so we got these two here next to Nemesis. Let's move these two out of the way now. Let's do size comparisons from other lines, like uh, NECA's Predator, which would be a good fight. Holy cow, I mean, Predator is actually way bigger than Nemesis. I didn't think it was that big. How about uh, the Yolo Park Megatron? How about I just take these damn wings off, right? Because at least taking up about three quarters of the screen for nothing. So here's Megatron from Yolo Park. Uh, and then you got uh, NECA's Predator. They both tower over Nemesis, so Nemesis probably won't have a chance against those two. And then just a little, a little, a little flexing. We've got SA Trigger Arts, Dragon Ball Z Broly, and uh, 80th Anniversary Marvel Legends, Incredible Hulk. And there you go, man. And then we'll put um, some of the other gang in here just to, you know, for effect, right? Because we like stuff like that. And there's a little, uh, my little review on Nemesis Immortal. Um, hope you like it. If you do, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Um, whether you like it or not, it's all good. Hit that like button. Um, if you like it, if you don't, hit the dislike. It's all good in the hood. Hit the notification bell for more evil content coming out. Take care, my peeps. And evil out. 
like and subscribe to the evil collector channel and hit the notification bell for more content